we are going to see the life cycle of a bug now. Uh, so you see, a uh, bug can happen at any phase of the software development life cycle. You have already learned software development life cycle, right? It has different phases like we have requirements phase, then we have designing phase, we have programming phase. Like that we have so many uh, phases. Um, these are the various phases in the software development life cycle. So in the software development life cycle, multiple people are involved. There are various teams involved and there are multiple members in each team. So any of this member can make a make a make um, a mistake, right? Or an error. Any member can make an error, and this error, if it is it happens in the requirements phase, if it goes undetected, then it will result in a bug in the next phase. Now in the design phase, if we are making an error. If an error is happening, it is not getting detected, then it will result in a bug in the coding phase. That is how it is. So if it is not detected, it will be passed on to the next phase. So you can see here, there are so many bugs. Uh, there are so many errors or mistakes that is being made that may get detected, may not get detected. So it can be it can become a fault and may result in a failure. Not all errors can result in a fault or a defect and can result in failure. That is also there. Now some of these, um, some of these errors can result in a bug in the design phase. Okay. So one stage can have errors and bugs. And the bugs which come from the previous stage are harder to detect and debug. That is how in general it is. Uh, so in the testing phase, what normally they do is whenever an incident happens, that is uh, whenever a failure occurs, we call it an incident. An incident um, and the people will analyze the incident. What caused the incident? That is what they will be seeing. What resulted in incident? What are the symptoms that caused the incident to happen? Right. Based on that, based on the symptoms, the bugs are classified. And then it is isolated to the corresponding phase. Which phase? It will go back to which phase the... Um, the bug, uh, um, um, which phase uh, the bug arise. Okay, so uh, the bug uh, whole life cycle of a bug, we can classify it into two bug in phase and bugs out of phase. These are the two phases. Now we'll see more about bugs in phase. So, where this is where uh, the errors and bugs are introduced in the software. Okay. That is, whenever a mistake is made, it will create errors on this particular specific location of the software. So, if the error is error goes unnoticed, then what happens? Some conditions will fail. As you can see here, there are some errors that happens during requirements. It will result in bug and it goes to the next stage. Right, so this bug is carried out to the subsequent phases if it goes undetected. Then a phase will have its own errors as well as bugs received from the previous phase. So this is how it is. So these are bugs in phase. So at this stage, we are supposed to perform verification, which we will learn more uh, in the coming slides, but we are, we are supposed to perform verification. Further, you see, during the testing phase or if a failure occurs when we are testing the software product, then uh, we will see what are the situations when bugs are present. There, like, you know, if we don't observe any failures, then, you know, it's, it's something else. But... Um, 
what are the situations that is causing failure that is what is being identified these situations are observed it is being uh, noted down and then we will see whether the bugs are catastrophic so based on the nature we will see what nature what is the nature of the bug and we will see whether the bug is critical or it is catastrophic or is it not having much impact like that we will uh, try to classify the bug further what we do is uh, you know um, a tester will not have time to actually resolve the bug but what they will do is they'll categorize the bugs uh, from highly critical and uh, is it trivial like that you know uh, or you know um, a developer also may not have that much time to go back and fix all the bugs that is there so what they'll do is they'll try to fix all the bugs that are critical catastrophic like that and they will try to leave the trivial bugs you know it doesn't uh, cause much harm like that depending on the uh, time they have and various other features what factors uh, so that will all come into picture uh, so this is uh, how first uh, this is the first step which is classify the bug next what we do is we have to isolate the bug the bi bug isolation activity is where we will try to locate where the bug is right so which module does the bug is located so we have to backtrack so in order to do that that is where we go to the incident and try to find out what caused the failure right that, that that was actually performed in order to trace back and see where the bug happened so this process is called uh, bug isolation where we'll try to find out which module which file or which part of the software is uh, we have the bug next is bug resolution where you know once the bug is isolated we will uh, try to locate the error and resolve it so these are the uh, various uh, these are the various uh, uh, phases that we have or we can say life cycle of a bug so you see bugs can have various states so what are the various states of a bug that is what we are going to see see now it is not o d it is of a bug okay states of a bug that is typo mistake by me so yeah states of a bug so a bug can be new that is when the bug is reported for the first time by a tester we can say that it is a new bug then the new state uh, we cannot say that the bug is genuine or not so the test leader will approve that a bug is genuine then it will go to the open state okay then this open bug is uh, sent to the development team where the development team will check whether whatever they told the test team is telling okay it is a bug whether it is valid or not they have to say because they uh, you know they will have to say if it is correct or not right so the bug is valid or not the developer will do so a developer is assigned uh, to see if the bug is valid or not that is what assigned state is then a bug uh, can be rejected okay so you know we have to they have to actually test and say whether uh, you know they have to work on it or not so sometimes it can be rejected that is a developer will reject that bug is invalid it's not a genuine bug that is what the rejected state is now what is a deferred state so as i told a developer will be assigned to fix the bug right so he will check if it's validity uh, if it is valid if it is not valid rejected if it is valid then it will uh, assign it will be assigned a priority then 
uh, if the priority is not that high that is if it is a trivial bug then and if there is no sufficient time uh, to correct the bug and all and if the bug is not having much adverse effect on the software then it is sent to a deferred state that means the bug is it may it will be fixed in the next release and not this release okay so that is what it is and then uh, so these two states are done so if these are not the case then it is goes to the test phase where you know uh, we have that valid bug which is test uh, which is uh, fixed by the developer and it is sent back to the testing team then the testing team will actually check it before releasing it the developer will change the state to the test state okay that is what it is that means tests if the bug is in test state that means it is fixed and it should be retested by the testing team okay then we have verified or fixed state where the tester will test the software and verify uh, if the bug what they found initially is fixed or not if uh, the you uh, know um, developer approves that the big uh, bug is fixed and it is fixed uh, then we can say that the status is verified now there are chances where sometimes the tester uh, the developer actually you know sometimes uh, they um, fail to completely fix it uh, then what happens is that is if the bug is still there even though the developer is telling that it is fixed it, it is still there then it, it is its status is changed to reopen and it will go back to uh, it will then be sent to the assigned state okay reopen instead of open not open it is reopened okay that is how it is now uh, once the tester everyone has confirmed that yeah it is completely eliminated then it will go to closed state so these are the various states of a bug um, and uh, you know it may vary depending on organizations anyway uh, so these are various uh, bugs um, uh, various uh, phases that a bug will go through now i want to talk about something called pesticide effect that is see um, what happens is you know farmers when they try when they are uh, you know cultivating some fruits vegetables or whatever it is if they try if some pests are there they will try with one pesticide and some or most of the pests will die out of uh, when the pesticides are applied but some will still survive okay then next time when they grow the same plant if they try the same pesticide whatever the pest that prevailed will be there some pests will be there whatever the uh, pest that um, that actually survived initially they will be there and they will not be affected if they try the same pesticide why i am telling you is uh, this example is because see there will be some errors that is there in the program and we try one technique to identify the errors in the uh, software system okay say I am telling black box testing. In black box testing, I tried equivalence class testing. Then there were some errors that was found. But all these blue color, these are some, all the errors that escaped even though I tried black box testing. Then if I again try black box testing here, then it will not be detected. These bugs that escape, I will try another testing technique here say i will try you know in uh, black box testing there are various testing techniques i will try another one here and some will still escape the same technique if i use here it will not work 
so that is what pesticide effect is okay so we will see uh, the rest of portion in